Good morning, children. I hope everybody is fine. And in the previous video, we have dealt with the poem little by little. And today we will do textual exercises and question answers. And before that, let's give a reading to the poem. Little by little. Little by little, an acorn said, as it slowly sank in its mossy bed. I am improving every day, hidden deep in the earth away. Little by little, each day it grew. Little by little, it sipped the dew. Downward it sent out a thread-like root. Up in the air sprang a tiny shoot. Day by day and year by year, little by little the leaves appear and the slender branches spread far and wide till the mighty oak is the forest pride. Okay, children. Now, next we will do question and answers. Yeah, before that, we will do the new words. The new words in this poem are hidden, slowly, downward, slender, mighty, branches, pride, improving, sipped, shoot, mossy, a corn, dew, sprang. Now coming to the meanings. A corn. What is an acorn? Yeah, a small brown nut of an oak tree with a cup like base. Mossy, covered with moss, a very small green plant without flowers that spreads over the moist surfaces. Improving, becoming better. Hidden, kept out of sight, invisible. Sipped. Drink in small quantity. Dew. Tiny drops of water that form on cool surfaces during night. Downward. Towards a lower place. Tiny. Very small. Shoot. Part of a plant that grow above the ground. Slender. Very thin, narrow, branches, part of a tree which grows out from the trunk. Mighty, powerful, strong. Pride, a feeling of achievement. Sprang, moving upwards. Now coming to question answers. Name the tree that the acorn grows into. The acorn grows into a mighty oak tree. Next, what things does a seed need to grow? The seed needs air, water, soil and sunlight to grow. How many describing words can you find in this poem? So the following are the describing words in the poem. Mighty, slender, tiny, mossy, thread-like, deep, little, wide. Now look at two pictures. Find four things that are different about these trees and talk about them. So here in picture one, you observe carefully what is this picture one? That is this uh, tree is talking about. Yeah. This tree is very happy. Its leaves, branches and stem are smiling. Trees give us fruits, vegetables and medicine. They give us fresh air to breathe. They give shelter and food to birds and animals. They give us paper to make books. Now similarly you see the second tree. What is this tree saying? This tree is sad. 
its branches leaves and stem are dry we harm the trees by cutting them for fuel furniture and paper we force the birds and animals to go away by cutting the trees we are responsible for increasing pollution in the air by burning its wood look at picture 1 write three sentences on what the tree gives us trees give us fresh air to breathe they give us fruits vegetables and medicine they provide shelter and food to birds and animals so these words describe parts of a tree write them in the given space first stem it gives strength to the tree and helps in making the tree stand straight bark it is the brown colored outermost layer of the wood leaves they are green in color and prepare food for the tree branch they grow out of the stem from where the leaves flowers and fruits grow twigs these are the thin branches on the tree root these grow downwards and hold the tree in the soil shoot it is a part of the plant that grows above the ground which includes a stem leaves flowers fruits etc now look at picture 2 write three sentences on how we harm the trees we harm the trees by cutting them for fuel rubber and furniture we force the birds and animals to go away by cutting trees we are responsible for increasing air pollution by burning the wood match the opposites here so what is the opposite of downward yeah this is upward slowly fast little big slender fat mighty weak day night okay children thank you